Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is video 14. And in this video, we are gonna do another video with map drives. But in this case, we're gonna be using GPP, which is Group Policy Preferences. And then we're also gonna be targeting an, an item level target for our security group, which is gonna be the IT group. So our agenda here, we're gonna create a new share, a new folder called Data Test. We're gonna share that out on the network. We're gonna create another group policy to map this drive. And then we're gonna to go to our Windows 11 machine, check the map drive and make sure everything is good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our, whoops, not there, open up our server. Let's go ahead and log back in. Okay, let's go ahead and put, log back in. All right, so we're gonna use the IT I put IT security, but IT group, we're gonna be using this group and the members, Pat is a part of that, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead first, let's go ahead and create a new folder. Now we're gonna share this out. Remember this is P, let's go ahead and go here, create a new folder. And for this one, we'll, what did I say? We're gonna create it as a data test, data test. And then we'll create a, a document just to uh, Pat. Okay, let's just go back and then data test. We're gonna go ahead and right click, go to properties. We're gonna share this bad boy out, advanced sharing, share this folder, permissions, everyone for the demonstration purposes, and hit apply. Okay, and let's go ahead and take this, right click, copy, because we're gonna need that shortly. If I just don't forget, let's open up the notepad and throw that in there. Okay. Perfect. So we'll just minimize that for now. Hit close. So now we have our, our data test uh, folder all created. All right. So now let's go ahead and open up group policy management. Okay. So before we did it with a logon script, now we're going to do something a little different. So we're going to go ahead and go to group policy, group policy pre, uh, objects. Go ahead and right click, create a new group policy. And I'm just going to name this uh gpp group policy preferences mapped drives gpo okay fine with me okay so let's go ahead and right click on this bad boy hit edit and it is a user config and we're going to go to preferences this time because it's going to be a preference okay and we're going to go to windows settings and windows settings we have map drives let's make this bigger so if we right click on map drive, we click new, we hit map drive, okay? So we have this new, uh, new drive properties. So the action we're gonna go ahead and create because we're gonna be creating a new network share. The location is going to be, let me see if I still have it, perfect. And I wanna label it as, for an example, data uh, IT, okay? So I want to go ahead and use a drive letter of, let's go, did I use P? Let's just use P, P for Pat, Pat's data. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to common. We're going to go ahead and run the logon, uh, run in logons, user security context. And then we're going to go ahead, so only people in the IT group get this, and we're going to test it, right? So we can go ahead and do, item level targeting. So let's click on targeting. If we hit new item, we can have a boatload of options, right? We have IP ranges, we can have LDAP queries, macro drift ranges, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We're gonna be doing security group, you know? So here we can click on these three little dots and then we can browse out into our Active Directory domain. So let's hit find now. And these are all of my groups. And if I go down, we have HR, I mean, IT underscore team. That's the one that I want to do. Hit OK. And you see infosec pat slash IT underscore team. This is going to be the group. Everything should be good. Hit OK. And hit OK. Apply. Go back to general. Everything looks good. OK, perfect. So we have it 
all set up here. Let's go ahead and just refresh this. Okay, so we are good here, right? So now let's go ahead and exit out of here. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply this to our IT department. Let's go ahead and uh, link an existing GPO, GPP GPOs, uh, G GPP map drives GPO. Okay, so we're golden there, perfect. So now let's go give it a test. Test this bad boy out. So let's go ahead and go to Windows 11. I have to log back in. I want to go to Pat. Okay. So I want to go ahead and do the same thing I did before. Do a little GP update. Okay. Flash force. And with that, that'll force that GPO to come down. And once it's done, we'll log off. Before, before we log off, let's actually test, open up File Explorer. This PC, we only, oh, we did have it as P. So give me one second. Let me, let me go back to my group policy. That's my bad. And let me go ahead and change that really quick. I can put it a different drive letter. Let's go ahead and group policy preferences, PPP, go ahead and edit. Go back and set that policy of preferences, windows, drives. Yeah, I put it as P. So let, let me go ahead and edit this. And let me put it as uh, the digit K. K for seven. Okay, so K, it's going to be, let me actually make a note of that over here. A drive. Okay. So, now I'll probably have to go, should be good now. Let's go ahead and make sure we are golden. Click on here, go to settings and show all in my case. And we should be good, linked and K drive. Perfect. All right, so now we can go ahead and X out of here. Let's go back to our Windows 11 machine now. And let's do that group policy one more time. And log off because oh it actually showed up um good so it did show up perfect okay so obviously it's, it's there pat my, my my stuff is there but we didn't really have to log off so we can exit it out of this for now okay so now we're going to go ahead and actually we are going to log off let's log off of this sign out and let's go back to our Active Directory and Active Directory user computers. So IT team is only Bob and Pat, right? So if we go to HR, we have Val. We're going to log in as Val and see if that K drive is there. It should not be there because we only allowed the IT team to have access to that. Let's go ahead and log in as Val. On the user, Val. Okay, so we'll let that do its thing and make sure that they do not get the K drive. Val is not allowed to get the K drive. We'll give that a moment. Like I said, Val is a part of the HR group. Come on, Val, you can do it. So we'll give that a moment. Let me go back to the DC real quick. And there's no profile, there's nothing, there's no magic happening. Let's see if it's logged in. Perfect. Now it's logged in. We can make sure we're logged in as Val. Where we can do that is obviously you can see there. Who am I? Here we are. A Val here. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up File Explorer. This PC. We have no K drive. The only one that has access is Pat and let's go see who else. Let's go toggle back there. So we did with Pat. Now let's log in as Bob. See if Bob has the K drive. He should have the K drive, right? Let's log out. 
from Val because we're good. We're good there. So, so far our test is working. We're mapping this drive. And now let's go to other user and let's go to Bob. The only one that should have access to this K drive is Bob and Pat. Okay. All right. So I never logged in as Bob. So we'll give this a moment to log in. And let's go back to the DC. So we should be good from there. Let me go back to our little overview. So what did we learn in this video? We were able to create a folder. We've been creating folders. So you guys should know how to create folders, create shares uh, on your server. We set up a group policy to map the drives to the IT group, not the IT security group, but you guys get it. We went onto our Windows 11 machine as Pat to see if the K drive showed up. It did. We logged in as Val because she is not a part of the IT group. She's a part of HR and she does not have the K drive. So our config worked properly. We test the user to see everything was good. And our last test is to check if Bob has it. So only Bob and Pat should have it. I just want to show you guys that, you know, Bob is a brand new user. And we are here now with Bob. Let's just go ahead and open up File Explorer and let's not waste any time. And we do have E and K. Perfect. So we got the data and we are good. So this is an accomplishment. So if you guys find this video informative, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. And until the next video, I really hope you guys have a beautiful day. And thank you so much for viewing. Take care.